this is my zine. I made this. It's my photography. I designed it. I did it all. I chose all the photos. I published it myself so I could make it exactly the way I wanted to. I don't have to give you any reason why I picked anything, but I can. I love this photo. The arms, hands, phones detached from the rest of the body feel symbolic to me. It's a cool picture. Just a nice moment, something you don't see every day. Just black and white, very cool. This moment, I usually don't photograph kids when I'm doing street photography because I don't want to photograph other people's kids. And I thought, how am I going to do this photo? It's a cool scene. And I just didn't look through the camera and I snapped this image. I thought I'll figure it out later. And then when I looked at it, uh, I didn't get the child's face. So it's perfect. It worked out just fine. I got the image and I didn't compromise my moral values for it. Again here, you know, people are largely unidentifiable, but just the colors and the tones in this image and the body language and just, I love this picture. That's why I put it in there. Uh, I like photographing people in nature. I was photographing a waterfall. This, I think, cross country team came in and just made for this interesting photo. Again, I love how the full edges, all the way to the edge of the frame is water. So it's a very simple background, but there's so much going on in the image. I don't know what this means. Scientology, new construction, just felt like an uh, interesting image to me. Just lots of light textures, uh, geometric shapes, shadows, lines, a lot to really draw your eye in in this photo. Just a photo at an office. I thought it had a nice vibe. Love the plant, love the bell, the light coming from the office. And playground, a lot of just cool lines, shapes, a lot to look at, graphically speaking. And then just a cool photo. And you've got work, play, and then you die. And that's not an accident. I laid it out that way on purpose. So yeah, this is mine. You can't get this one because they're already sold out, but I do have Mystery Zine number three now available. Check it out.